This conference <laughs> will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen. Hey, yeah, welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So with the continuation of the JavaScript series, this is the third session on, okay, on JavaScript. And today we will talk about what are the different control flows like if else and search case statement. And I hope you guys are enjoying JavaScript. So okay, JavaScript is very easy as compared to other languages. You just need to focus, you just need to practice. And this will help you a lot if you really want to become a you know, web UI developer or in automation also. Because a lot of tools these days are coming with respect to JavaScript, like WebDriver IO is there, Protector is already there in the market, Cypress is there, Tyco is there, uh, Nightwatch.js is there, Codeset.js is there. So a lot of different types of tools are available, guys. So JavaScript is very, very important to them, right? So without uh, wasting our time, today's, uh, today's topic is that different control flows. So let's see control flows I'm talking about, how to write different if-else conditions, and then we will talk about switch case statement, okay? So yes, JavaScript supports both if-else as well as switch case. So simple if-else, if is a keyword. So we will write like this, small letter. And inside this particular if, there is a these two parentheses that you have to write open bracket and close bracket and here you have to write some condition over here okay condition over here and then this is the if body and then you can write some statement over here whatever the statement you want to write let's say this is a statement then along with if you can write one else also if this particular condition is not satisfied then you can write some else also or whatever you want to write you can write it over here if you have multiple statements, let's see, I have second statement, I have third statement, guys, then it's good to write, it's a best, good practice. We should provide a bracket like this. This is the if body and starting here and ending over here. Same thing for else, if you have multiple conditions like this, better to provide a body like this, okay? But if you have, let's see, only one single statement like this, then better you remove these brackets. JavaScript doesn't like these brackets if you have only one single statement over here, okay? Same thing if you have only one single statement, then better you write simple, okay? Without bracket also, you can write it like this, right? So let's take an example of if else. So let's take some practical example. So the practical example is that, let's see that, uh, <clears throat> um, let's see if I have one time between 6 a.m. to let's see, uh, 12 p.m. in the noon, then I say that, okay, hey, this is a good morning, right? If it is after 12 p.m. to, let's see, 6, okay, 6 p.m., then I'll say that this is a good afternoon. And then if it is after 7 or anything else, in that case, I would say this is, let's see, uh, good evening, like this. So how will you write, okay, uh, if else condition over here? So to write if else condition, right, it's very simple. You simply write, let's see if I'll write, but before if, let's say I'll declare one variable r, okay, r is equal to, let's assume that, okay, uh, the type is 10. I'm just doing hard coded value over here. And then I'm simple, right, if I simply put a condition over here that if your r is 6 a.m., right, if it is greater than, or equal to six and and if your r is less than 12 like this so we know that a property of and operator both the condition should be satisfied this condition is also should be true and this condition also should be true then only it will come inside the if part then i'll write simple console dot log i simply say that okay hey this is good morning like this Right. Then I'll put some condition that else if your R is, let's see, is greater than equal to 12 and, and your R is less than equal to 18, right? 18 means uh, 12 plus 6, 18. Like this, and then simple write console.log. I simple copy paste over here. Console.log, I simple say, good afternoon, like this. Okay, otherwise nothing is getting satisfied. I simply say that, okay, hey, else over here, console.log, good evening, 
like this. Okay. So now if you run this particular program, so how do you run? So you simply write, you know, you can run in the browser also, but let's see, I'm directly executing in the terminal. Make sure you are in the same directory. Simple write uh, node and whatever the file name. Just let's see, my file name is operator.js. So operator.js, if you run it, you will see that it's printing good morning over here. But I'll do one thing, I'll let's create a new file over here. Let's see, this is my, uh, the file name is control flow dot js. Okay, and I'll do one thing, this thing, I'll just cut it from here and paste it over here. This will be better approach, right? And then I'll run this particular code once again, just clear the screen, node control flow dot js. And here you are getting good morning because your condition is r equal to 10. Yes, 10 is greater than 6 and less than 12. So this particular if condition is satisfied and then it will print good morning over here. Simple like this. And let's see, let's assume that, okay, hey, this is, uh, uh, let's see, 20. It means around 8 p.m. So what exactly it's saying? It's saying, hey, this is good evening. Make sense? As I told you that if you have only one single statement, you can simply remove these brackets. And let me remove these brackets over here. Same thing from else if also you can remove it. And same thing for else also you can simply remove it like this. So it's very neat and clean that code that we have written over here. Right? Or you can write it like this as well. That simple write console.log, console.log, console.log. Like this also you can simply write it. Now if you run it, it's saying good evening. So like this also you can write it. So it's up to you if you write multiple, okay, let's say I want to write a uh, simple console.log and I put some bracket over here. I want to write two statements over here. Good evening, good morning, and let's see, uh, I simply say good morning, Nabi. like this. So in that case, it's better to provide these brackets over here, please. If you don't write the bracket like this, then what will happen? It will give you an error. Can you see that? Declaration of the statement expected. So if you have only one single statement, then you can avoid the bracket, but better to write bracket now like this. Clear? Simple? Okay. <clears throat> so this is the simple thing that we have written over here. Right? Now, Let's take some other examples. Let's see, I have three numbers. One number is let A is equal to 100, like this. Let B is equal to 200, and let C is equal to 300. Simple. Then I want to find out, so the program is, we have to write a program to find out, okay, the maximum number like this okay and uh, this is the thing that we will just copy and paste it over it and this is a program that we have to write it like this okay so that you will remember when you refer the code now i have to find out the maximum number so we see that okay here maximum number is c 300 so how to write the code for this i simply write if your a okay a is greater than b and and a is greater than c in that case, I simply write console.log. I simply say, so if A is greater than B and A is greater than C, it means A is greater than both A and B, sorry, both B and C. In that case, I would say A is the greatest. Like this, right? And then I'll simply write one else if condition over here that else if B is greater than C only, now you must be thinking why I'm not comparing B with A because B with A comparison is already done. So no need to write that condition once again. And then I simply say that in that case, if B is greater than C, in that case, I simply say B is the greatest. And then if nothing is getting satisfied, I simply write a simple else. It means C is the greatest. So let's see, let's run it once again. Let's see, C is the greatest and actually C is the greatest. Now we have only one single statement. So I'll simply write over here one single statement. So I'll remove these brackets over here. Same thing from here, same thing from here. So like this also you can write it or in a single line, it looks really good, easy to understand. 
anyone can understand like this, right? Now let's check our code. If A is greater than 400, okay, A is equal to 400, it means condition, this condition is satisfied. A is greater than B and A is greater than C. Then in that case, it should print A is the greatest. So let's see, it's saying yes, A is the greatest. Right? Okay. Right. Now, if I make just a second, the console, yeah. Now let's see if B is 500 in that case, let's see. It's saying B is the greatest. So it means my logic is absolutely fine over here. Right? Okay. Now then we will see the switch case statement. Switch case statement guys, is very simple. That simple. What you need to do that, uh, let's see, I'll take one example that user base permission or maybe some user, different types of users are there. So different types of roles are there in a particular web application. So let's say I simply say a role, right? A role is there. And then I'll simply write one switch over here, statement over here. But here we don't need to pass any condition, but in if we have to pass the Boolean conditions over here, either A greater than B or A greater than C, B greater than C or something like this, right? Greater than equal to six or something like this. So this is representing a Boolean, either it can be true or false, but in switch, Guys, we don't write the Boolean. We write whatever the variable that you have defined. Let's see role variable over here, the role like this. And then we will start the bracket over here like this. And inside this particular switch, guys, then we will define some cases. So I simply write my case, okay, like this. If your role is equal to guest, like this, I'll write colon. And then you have to write console dot log. I simply say, Let's see guest user like this. And once this case is satisfied, then I simply break this particular case from here. So this is the first case, let's see, I have written. Similarly, I can write guys multiple cases over here. So let's see, I'll write one more case. If the user is admin, then I simply say admin user and then break it. I'll say one more condition over here, let's see. The user is the vendor, a typical e-commerce application. Let's see, a vendor user, right? Now what I'll do, I simply pass my role is equal to guest. So what will happen if the role is equal to guest, the same role value will be given to switch. Switch will decide which case we have to solve. So it is guest, then it will print guest user. So what will happen if you run it, it's saying guest user. Now, if your role is admin, it will directly jump over here, case admin, and then it will print admin user over here. Okay, admin user, like this. But we have to break the loop. Okay, guys, that, okay, they have already written break over here. So we have break means come out of the switch statement. Now, let's see if I'm passing, the user is Naveen, role is Naveen. So what will happen? If you run it, it's not printing anything. Make sense? Why? Because we don't have any default part over here. So what we have to do guys, we have to write one default section over here. So if nothing is getting satisfied, you simply write default. <clears throat> and my default case is like this, that console.log, I simply say, no user. And then simply break it. <clears throat> like this. Now, if you run it, just a second, yeah. Now, if you run it, let's see, my role is I have defined Naveen, and then you clear the screen and run it again. It's saying no user, because there is no user as Naveen. So there is no cases are defined for Naveen over here, right? So same Naveen will be given to this guy, and then you can define the different cases. So it's not only for a string guys, it can be used for numeric values as well over here. You can simply write any numeric value, A, B, C, D, or Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, same cases you have to define over here like this. Let's see student marks. If the student marks is 90, then the same 90 will be given to this. And if the case is 90 over here, in that case, you want to print something like this. So different cases you can define over here guys, like this. So this is a basic switch case statement you have to write it. Right, now same thing, let's see if you write, okay, this is a switch case statement. Now same, this role example, if you really want to use, with if else condition, how do you use it? So let's see, role with if else, how will you write? Simple, 
same thing you can do it with this guy also so i simply write if my i simply say the role is as i told you strict type comparison we have to do it do that so triple equal to I have to write if it is equal to what if it is equal to guest okay single statement i want to print console dot log and then i want to print this is my guest user like this okay and then i'll simple write very simple copy paste and then i'll write else if if it is equal to admin user then i simply say this is admin user okay and then if it is equal to a uh, role is equal to let's see vendor then this is the vendor user and else i simply say console dot log no user single line statements i simply write now you run it clear the screen it's saying in both the cases it's printing no user now let's see if i say the role is uh, admin so it should print admin user okay because the user value is admin the role value is admin and same thing this particular condition should be satisfied and then it should print admin so let's run it you can see in both the cases we are getting admin user simple so guys both are exactly same but i would prefer to use if else condition if else conditions are more convenient to write and it's not like that okay i would i would never use switch case you can use switch case also but if else looks better approach as compared to switch switch case right another advantage with switch case is that you simply write the role and it will directly jump over here but let's see if your role is admin first it will check this condition then it will come over here but in switch case if your role is let's see admin it will okay directly jump over here inside the admin so like that you can use it so it's up to you it depends on your use case to use case what exactly you want to use you want to use switch case or if else so this is the basic control flow both the things are available in javascript right? please practice very simple prepare some examples write your script and then let me know if you have any issues so thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe to the channel a lot of new videos are coming so i don't want it okay you guys are missing the videos or missing the notification so keep watching and keep learning bye, -bye.